Hello, gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer, and we are here with prepared Lockheed Martin's prepared uh, version 4.5 or P3D version 4. I guess it goes by a lot of different names. And what exactly are we doing here? Well, this is going to be uh, a new series uh, in which we are going to be doing a tour, but we're going to be upgrading <coughs> the simulator as we go. Now, you might be asking, well, why would you do that? Well, I had an upgraded version of P3D version 4 and version 5, uh, but it was on a previous computer now I have a gaming laptop so I've had to reinstall everything so I figure hey this is a good opportunity to start off with a uh, vanilla version of P3D and then upgrade it along the way so if you happen to be getting into P3D I don't know how many people out there are you know would be willing to get into uh, prepared now now that you've got um, X plane 11 and you got X plane 12 that's on on you know that's going to be coming in you got Microsoft Flight Simulator I don't know I I like P3D because it's you know it's an updated version of FSX and uh, FSX Flight Simulator 10 is a great simulator and there's lots and lots of uh, add-ons out there for it and the great thing about p3d although I hate the fact that it's got activations <laughs> uh, one thing I like about it is you can download the version that you want if you get everything working on version 4.4 or 4.5 or 5.1 you're not forced to update also you don't have to be online to fly your simulator unlike Microsoft Flight Simulator so I think it has its uh, its positives and we're gonna be checking that out with a default flight and what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're gonna change the vehicle we're not gonna fly a jet <laughs> I've tried flying this jet before and it didn't work out too well I like that it's got a V-tail though See, this is why I like uh, the Bonanza V35, because of the tail. It's for this reason right here. All right, so I think what the only basic uh, general aviation plane is the Mooney Bravo, isn't it? I mean, you, yeah, you've got your Piper Cub, but, you know, I'm just talking about just a regular, a regular plane. Yeah, because you got airplanes and everything else. Yeah, it looks like the Mooney Bravo really is the only one. Uh, yeah, see, there's no 737s or anything in here. It's all, all military stuff. All right, so... We will, let's see, we got a regular Mooney Bravo, and then we got a Mooney Bravo Retro. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the difference is. But we're going to go ahead and choose that. And the call sign, let's see. We're going to make that 13F. All right. 13 Foxtrot, that's what I was uh, in the Army. Okay, we're going to keep this as fair weather uh, because the real weather doesn't uh, quite work with this. Is it even in here? I don't even know if this has real weather. Even so, you have to have an add-on for it to work. All right, uh, let's see. We got change airport, change location, uh, system time. Let's bring this to about 8 o'clock. It is fall. Yeah, I think that'll work. 
All right, and then we're going to go to the flight planner. And where are we going to go? Well, why don't we do a flight from Phoenix? And we're not going to do active runway. We're going to put ourselves on a ramp. And those are all large there. What about three? Well, that's a fuel box. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there are all kinds of fuel boxes. Let's just put ourselves in parking one. So that looks good. And we'll go ahead and click OK. So this is, you know, so if you're familiar with FSX or even FS9, probably FS8 too. So you're, huh? Flight Simulator 2002, 2004, Flight Simulator 10. Uh, this this is just like it when you're setting up a uh, flight. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to Flagstaff. That's where we're gonna go. And uh, we're going to be doing the same exact flight in uh, prepared version 5. So you're going to be able to see how both simulators are being upgraded just one thing at a time. And you'll be able to see how each one uh, looks compared to the other. So what are we going to do here? IFR rules... We got direct GPS, we got Vore to Vore. So we can go uh, that direction right there. That seems fine. It's going to take us to somewhere. <laughs> uh, PXR, is that Phoenix? I think that might be Phoenix. I don't think, yeah, I think we've got. Uh, It'd be nice if they actually set this up to where you could... Whoops. Well, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Did not want to do that. It'd be nice if you could take this and scroll around, but... Yeah, it doesn't quite work that way. Okay, Prescott. So, yeah, we're going to Prescott and then over here to Flagstaff. Here we are with our Mooney Bravo at Phoenix Sky Harbor uh, International Airport. I am trying to <laughs> scroll around here so that way you can see what it looks like. I'm trying to do that with the controls here, my yoke controls. But uh, yeah, zoom out and everything, but here we go. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, climb inside. So one of the things we're going to uh, want to upgrade <laughs> are the planes <laughs> because it's not like this is the greatest uh, quality plane to fly. I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, like Flight Simulator 9 quality. If, if even that, I don't know. It's, it's uh, pretty pretty bad. Uh, but So we're definitely going to want to upgrade with some uh, better planes. Uh, which we definitely will do. And as far as moving stuff around here, if you hold down your space bar and then just move your mouse around, you can do this. So that's kind of nice. Um, you can also use your mouse wheel while holding down the space bar and you can zoom in and out. So uh, just keep that in mind. Meanwhile, we're going to pull up the ATC menu here. Sky Harbor Airport Information Hotel, 1500 Zulu, wind, calm, visibility greater than 20 miles. Sky condition, new cloud at 4700. Temperature, 1 stream, 2 point stream. Altimeter, 29992. Visual, runway 2 climb, right ILS, runway 2 climb, left and ILS. Runway 2, check, engines, landing and departing, run. 
All right, we can go ahead and request IFR clearance. Air Harbor clearance delivery, Moon East, November 1, 2, 3, Mike Sierra, ready to copy IFR clearance to Flagstaff. Moon East, November 1, 2, 3, Mike Sierra is cleared to Flagstaff Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 9,000, departure frequency is 120.7, squawk 0562. 0562. So we're we're getting around here. Sky Harbor Ground, Mooney, November 1, 2, 3, Mike Sierra with hotel ready to taxi IFR. Mooney, November 1, 2, 3, Mike Sierra, taxi 2 and hold short of runway 25 left using taxiway hotel, hotel 7, Gulf 7, Foxtrot, Gulf 8, contact tower on 118.7. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn on that progressive taxi because I'm not quite sure uh, where everything is sitting. And let's go ahead and get this, uh, get the plane started here. So I've got my uh, throttle quadrant uh, sitting here on my desk. So we're going to go ahead and put in the mixture, put in the... Uh, propeller and put a little bit of throttle in there and let's see if my button works here for Ooh, it does nice I set up one of my buttons for my magneto so that way when I press it it turns it increment uh, by increments or it turns it off by increments. <laughs> so that's cool. And you know what? This is the first time that I'm actually flying prepared uh, with flight yokes. Flight yokes. A uh, flight yoke and rudder, pe rudder pedals. So. Pretty excited about that. And I gotta tell you, this. I mean, Microsoft Flight Simulator looks nice, but. I don't know, for some reason, this feels a lot smoother. Though, like the way the plane handles and stuff. I don't know what it is, but it, it just. I'm just noticing that it just flies better. What the heck happened to that? Uh, <laughs> the taxiway was kind of like partly disappeared there. All right, there's hotel, hotel. <laughs> I should probably turn on my lights somewhere. What do you think? Where are my lights? I don't know. Do I have lights? I may not have lights on this thing. 
Uh, let's see. Oh. This might be it. No, that's not it. Holy smokes! If this thing has like... Oh, here we go. I hope this is on. Because I really don't know if, if, if it is. I don't know. Let's, uh... Try a few things. Yeah, it looks to me that those are on. Look at this. We got air traffic and everything. Man, you remember the back in those days where you actually had air traffic at your airports? You know, when you went to a, an international airport, it was actually, you know, filled. <laughs> I don't know if I have my rudder pedals uh, set correctly, but they they twist to the right or to the left, and it seems like if I want to go to the right, I've got to twist it so that way my right foot goes up and my left foot goes down, and then vice versa the other way. I don't know if that's correct or not. It seems kind of weird like that. And you can do VR with this simulator. How about that? My cat is scratching stuff he's not supposed to. You know better. Stop that. What? Meow. You gotta be right here 
on top of me, don't you? Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Spice? Alright, I don't see anything coming. Well, at least the voices work. I can't get the uh, the audio for the voices to work in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. It's really annoying. It, it, it worked uh, to start with. Uh, and then somewhere along the line, it just didn't work anymore. And I have no idea why. And I've checked the settings and everything. doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get our autopilot and everything set up here. We have just basic controls. I don't even know what the fours are that we're using. <laughs> that probably would have been uh, helpful information. Let's see. Okay, that is our... Our flight's supposed to be at 12,000, so I'm going to set it for 12 there. This always helps here. Just pull this right up. All right, 115.60. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Nav 1. It's a little hard to see here. 115.60. And then the the other one was 114.10. That's for Prescott. And I forgot what it was. <laughs> Just like that, I forgot what it was. 114.10. Okay.
that's the way to the Vore that we need uh, for, I think, like Phoenix or something like that. And we were taken off from which runway? 25. Let's go ahead and set our heading bug to around 25 there. So that way we can fly straight out. We'll go ahead and turn off progressive taxi and tune into the tower. Good to go. Let's go. Orbit. <laughs> trying to get this thing to work. There we go. Zero eight zero. That's not the right direction. <laughs> That's not the right direction.
That's hard to see. This is VOR number two. This is going to take us to Prescott, so let's go ahead and get that set up for Prescott. As real as it gets. <laughs> Honestly, is it really that bad? Yes, this is old technology, but is it really that bad? I don't think so. We're approaching 6,000 feet. Now, at the time of recording uh, this video, I have not done the P3D version 5 yet.
And you may be thinking, well, wait a minute, why are you doing version 4 and why are you doing version 5? Well, because there are some add-ons that work uh, great with version 4 that don't work with version 5. Turn right, heading 105. Is it having us go back around? I think it is. It's having us go back where 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 we were. That's that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying. Well, I guess we'll fly uh, over Phoenix again. Well, one two thousand is what we need. I 
I'm not sure how much further it's going to take us in this direction. That's more like it. Okay, we are on our way, so I will see you when we get closer to Flagstaff.
down.
Alright folks, I am back here with you, and it looks to me that the airport is right up there ahead of us. I'm going to change this a little bit. But yeah, we should be in here. Let me go ahead and uh, we'll set the approach. We'll take off the altitude there. Maybe that's not what we should have done. Hold on, put that altitude back. I believe once this uh, P-51 
picks up on the the glide slope, I think it will turn the altitude off. As long as we got the approach on. We need to slow this. Whoop, maybe not that much. Slow down a little bit. We're, you know, kind of coming in a little hot. We'll get some more flaps down. According to this, we're kind of off, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're approaching the glide slope here. Oh my. Keep an eye on your airspeed. I noticed that this was pitching up. We're 10 miles away. Altitude on the... Keep an eye on this. Oh, there it goes. It took it off. Alright, so we are locked into the glide slope. Yeah. Not getting any distance there. And this is the regular Flagstaff 4. That's what that is. It's not the ILS. But if you were, I mean, obviously we're locked in. But in case you were wondering if you were or not, you can go ahead and turn this on and listen for the Morse code. If you hear Morse code, that like that, then you are locked in. And that's a great way to get uh, an alert, too. Uh, if you've got it tuned in in advance and you're not close enough, once you start hearing that Morse code, you can be like, Oh, hey, it just, it just got uh, tuned in. I'm going to slow this back down again. Kind of taking us a little bit off here. <laughs> now think about all the things that we're going to be upgrading in this series. Aircraft, scenery, ATC, uh, air traffic. The skies, uh, shaders. There's so many things that we can sit here and upgrade these with. It's. I'm hoping that you like this, so that way, if you've got P3D and you're like, 
wonder what I can do to upgrade this. You know, it, I, I hope this will help you out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take manual control here. think we got ourselves in a good descent. White over white. A little too high there. We want red over white is what we want. Red over red is too low. There we go. Red over white. That's what we want. Give it a flare here. Taxi way right over there. We'll go ahead and park over there by those buildings.
Well, I think that looks good. We'll go ahead and uh, bring our mixture and everything, lean it out. And that should do it. Okay, there we go. We are here at Flagstaff. Uh, was it Pullum Airport? KFLG. Hey, and the trees are what somewhat similar to Flagstaff. They're kind of tall like that. But well, what did you think of the flight? This is a uh, default. You know, it's not meant to be super pretty. You know, or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, I guess an introduction to Lockheed Martin's Prepared version 4.5. And if you are a Flight Simulator 10 fan and love that, you might enjoy uh, Prepared. A little bit on the, on the pricey side, but, you know, get yourself the academic uh, version. Because unless you're a professional... Unless you're a professional pilot, there's no need to get the professional version. If you're just a casual, you know, flight simmer, you're basically practicing, right? You're learning. You want to get the academic version. So just keep that in mind. But, yeah, leave me uh, some comments about what you thought uh, of the flight and what you think about the idea of this series. Subscribe if you're new. Click that notification bell so you get notified of future content. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next flight. Have a killer, awesome day.